What I'm so proud of this film is that when I watch it, I see so many of the stories from our crews, from their experience of immigration or love or joy or any kind of fun. Meet the residents of Element City. Air usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket. Earth can be a little seedy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. Uh, just a little pruning. Water is always getting into something. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh! Help! And fire? As ordered. We run a little hot. Peter and Denise, director and producer from Elemental. How is it going? Good. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We're it's a pleasure to, to finally meet you both. Hey, guys, it isn't your first time working together. How was it to work on Elemental? It was amazing. I really trusted Denise's experience to get us through a very difficult technical challenge. Um, uh, it was a really fun ride. I mean, we had ups and downs, just like these characters were so difficult, Papa. They were so hard. Pete did an amazing job. I mean, again, we've been in, it took us a, a long time to bring this movie to the big screen. And Pete just, he worked harder than anyone on the, on the production and put his heart and soul into it. So, um, you know, everyone wanted to give him everything that he needed to, 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 to do this. And um, I, I'm just really grateful to Peter for the, for coming up with such an amazing idea. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Whoa! Hey! Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? And uh, about the process, how do you develop universal ideas where people, not only children, can watch, feel identified, and get a message at the end? Oh, Tato, it's it's a, a the Pixar process is a is a is a is really aggressive one. You're you you make up the story, you put it up on the reels with drawings and sounds, and then you watch it over and over again, trying to connect to it. But you also have a team of a lot of artists that bring in their personal stories as well. What I'm so proud of this film is that when I watch it, I see so many of the stories from our crews, from their experience of immigration or love or joy or any kind of fun thing. And so it was a real process of bringing in the crew so that we could all connect to it at various levels. Yeah, I think we ended up, I think at the end of the day, we ended up having, believe it or not, 40 different screenings just internally to, to get the story where it is. So like, it's it's a time consuming, lengthy process and, and uh, but necessary when, when you know, to, to try to get put something out there that people connect to. Yeah, I, I loved it. And uh, I really got into the story and you have a lot of messages all over the place. And I wanna ask, I was wondering, what do you consider the most powerful message in this movie? What's interesting with all those layers of story, the, 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 one, the one thing that brings all those differences together through the immigration or through the, the, the romance or through the, the city stuff, it's, it's empathy. Empathy and connection uh, uh, through vulnerability brings all those disparate things together, I, I hope. Um, um, but that was the one sort of seed that was trying to tie all of that together. Cool. Yeah, and I, I hope that, you know, it's just we're, our world is so much richer because of the diversity and because, you know, people bring their experiences. We all we have similar experiences, but we're just so much better when we open our hearts to to, you know, people and, and our differences. Thank you, Peter and Denise. Thanks for having me today and thanks for your answers. And congrats on this movie. It's Thank truly you. amazing, spectacular. Bye. Thank you, Thank so you much very for much. Try this. Dad, those are too hot. I love hot food. Huh? Mm. Mm. Mm.